Hey everyone, today we're going to recreate the vibe of the General Intelligence Company of New York website. I'm going to analyze why it's such a great design and showcase a couple of simple prompts and tricks that will bring a similar feel to your page. But we won't just rebuild the page. We are also going to build a live design system configurator directly inside the page preview so we can test fonts, border radius and component sizing in real time. Let's get into it. First, let's break down the DNA of this design. We have an awesome pixel art hero illustration with pixel font used for headings as well. We have a semi-transparent card in the bottom left corner that follows the scroll motion. We have a semi-transparent sticky navbar at the top that when we scroll, it's actually gonna change font color depending on the background. And we have a clock in the top right corner that shows the local time in New York City. This clock is important because actually this hero section image, it changes depending on the time in New York City. So if you check this website early morning and then during the day or at night, it's actually going to show you a different hero image. So that's a pretty cool design idea. When I go below the hero section, we have a bunch of pretty standard sections uh, for a landing page. We have a carousel. We have almost full size image over here with some copy on top and the CTA. We have three articles uh, over here. We have our footer section and we have again this very cool pixel art image at the bottom. So every element here feels intentional and it's a great all around composition that we're going to try to recreate in a few seconds. As always, we have to start with the prompt. And as our original website has a very strong theme of New York City, I figured our website should also have a strong theme. So I picked randomly a big red ball company. So our focal point and our main visual is going to be the big red ball. So I've asked Ball to create a modern premium landing page with the following specifications. Here I'm describing the layout with the navigation bar, hero section that should be bigger than the viewport, uh, image plus copy, carousel, horizontal image section, the block tiles, CTA, and the footer section. And fun fact and the first trick I'm going to show you here is that when I looked at the footer of this website, I actually had no idea how to properly describe it to Bolt. It kind of feels like a curtain effect, but I wasn't sure if that's going to be enough. So I went to Gemini, I recorded my screen here, and I asked Gemini how I could explain this effect as a prompt. And it actually explained it. It went with descriptive prompt, with the technical prompt, and a suggestion how I should put it inside Bolt that new. So this exact bit is my last part of the prompt. Now, after I would hit build now, this is the effect you would see. Because I ran this exact prompt before, this is the effect, and believe it or not, it's actually perfect. This is what I wanted us to achieve. We have our cart that moves on scroll. We have our generic section here. We're gonna have our carousel, big image, we have our block tiles, and we have our footer that behaves in a very similar way as the original website. Now, I'll show you how in a few, maybe a bit more than few, uh, prompts get from this design to this one, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve this effect inside Bolt. So one big difference between our current state and our initial state are obviously the visuals. We have this cool hero image and we have consistent images all over the website, including this very cool footer as well. So for the visuals, I'm usually using a two-step workflow. I start in mid-journey to generate that one perfect hero image, getting the lighting and texture exactly right. In our case, I've created a bunch of them. I think we landed on this one. And then I take that result into Nano Banana to generate the rest of the site assets. This usually keeps the style cohesive and ensures every image feels like it belongs to the same brand kit without that random variation you often get from mid-journey. You can also just use Nano Banana or just mid-journey or a different asset generation workflow altogether. But this is how I like to approach it. And we could do the same with pixel art if we'd want to match our original website, and we could use this workflow for any other visual style. Now, there are also about 30 prompts between the initial state and our current projects, and all the prompts will be available in the description for you to check. But now I'm going to focus on two specific prompts, one for the hero image switcher and one for the navbar. As I mentioned, one of the big elements of the website we get inspired by is the fact that depending on the local time, the hero section image changes. So how do we achieve this in Bolt? It's very easy, and that's why I want to highlight this prompt. You can actually achieve that in simple prompt. So I've asked Bolt 
to change the hero image based on the time of the day. And let's say after 1 p.m. local time, we'll be displaying the image I've attached. And I obviously ge generated this image inside Nano Banana. I've just asked it to create the same image, but at night, and it created a perfect recreation of the original image. Now, I initially asked Bolt to switch it after 1 p.m., then I changed it to 6 p.m. Currently, we have 5 p.m., so to show you how it works, I'm going to go into code, and this is the place where we decided that it's going to change after 6 p.m., so we have 18. Now, let's change it to 5 p.m., so we're going to use 17. We're going to save it, and now we can see our hero section image has changed. Now, we can move it back to 6 p.m., 18. We're going to save the code and the image is back to the day version. The second prompt I really wanted to highlight is the navbar one. So on the original website, when we scroll past the hero, you can see the navbar items change color. So here they're white, past the hero section, they turn into black. So we got the same effect here in our project. It also changed the CTA color, which is pretty cool. And all of that was achieved again with one simple prompt. I've just asked for the top navigation bar, please change its background so it matches the hero card background. So this one, so we have the same background between both and change the font color to light when the background is dark and to dark when the background is light. I've also asked Bolt, can you do this? Because I wasn't sure if one prompt is gonna be enough, but it was enough and we have this cool effect in our project. Now let me show you a very cool trick which allows me to rarely open Figma or any other design tool lately. Let's say you want to change the headings font and we want to compare a few options. We could ask Bolt, please change the heading font to say, play for display. And that would work perfectly fine, but we'd have to do it again and again for each other font. If we want to compare a bunch of them, I like to use this technique. I'll prompt, I want to test a few font combinations. Please suggest some nice serif fonts for this project headings and add a temporary font switcher in the bottom right corner, which will allow me to check how they look across our page. So I'm going to hit build and we'll see how it looks in a few seconds. Bolt finished our request, and now we have this cool font switcher in the bottom. So we can try out different fonts. You can see both headings change, and the cool part is that all the other headings will also change. So whenever we want to try a different font, we can ask Bolt to do this, and it's going to make it very easy for us to check how different fonts are going to look all across our website. But it actually gets better than this. If we want to check how different corners would look like in our project. We can ask Bolt to, similarly to the font switcher, can we add one for editing how rounded corners of our containers are? We again gonna hit the build, and in a few seconds we'll see what Bolt comes up with. Our request is done. Now we have a second switcher, and again we can change the border radius to sharp. You can see it changes for all of our containers. We can make it extra large. It's gonna change for all of our containers, and again, not just in the hero section, it's gonna apply to every container we have on our website, which makes any design change super simple, super easy to do. So can it get even better? Of course it can. When we compare this card component to the original design, we can see this one is a bit wider, this copy is a bit smaller. So instead of telling Bolt, make this a bit smaller, make it a bit wider, let's just ask it to create an editor for this div. So we're gonna select this component where we can change heading size, subcopy size, CTA size, and card dimensions. Again, we're gonna click build and let's see what Bolt comes up with. So now our editor is ready and we can change a lot of different things here. So we can change our heading size from small to extra large. We can change our subcopy size from small to large. We can change our button size. We can change the card width. So it can be wide, can be extra wide. We can change the padding inside of the card. So we have all those different settings that we can change and we don't have to ask Bolt to make it a bit wider, make this a bit smaller, go through prompts and prompts. We can just ask it to create this temporary editor and we can just remove all of them after we are happy with the chief design instead of prompting again and again. Now the best part is that you can obviously combine all of those editors. So we can first change the font. I've added a bunch of new ones in the meantime. We can change the border radius and then we can change specific container sizes as well. So let's say small, let's make it extra wide and make everything a bit smaller. So in a span of a few clicks, we've changed the design and the feel of the hero section completely. And we can do it with every container, with every section, with basically every element of the website. You can truly create your design system configurator directly in your Bolt preview. 
And instead of going through tens of prompts to get to your desired design, when you're not fully sure how you want your end design to look like, you can just create those small editors and just go wild, go creative, have fun with it, and you're gonna get to your intended design much, much faster. So today we started with an analysis of an amazing website and based on that, created a prompt for the big Red Bull company landing page. We used Midjourney and NanoBanana to build a consistent visual language. We then recreated the most important functionalities of the website in a few simple prompts and built a live design system configurator on top of it all. I hope you found all of those steps helpful. And as always, if you want us to recreate a specific website in the future, let us know in the comments. Now go build something cool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.